hello so in this video we will talk about uh, the pigeonhole principle so the definition goes like this um, if we have n objects and we have to put them in k boxes then at least one box has at least the ceiling of n over k objects now this looks very technical but it's very you know very common sense kind of thing so in other words this is actually a generalized pigeonhole principle so in other words if we have for example 22 objects and 5 boxes so the pigeonhole principle says that at least one should have at least twenty two over five which is equal to five boxes now how to prove it rather than proving the general statement let's prove this specific example we have twenty two uh, objects and five boxes now if we put less than five boxes in each one less than five objects in each box so then we have four objects per box times five boxes which means 20 objects so this means that if we have less than five objects in each box then we cannot have our desired 22 objects okay so this is the basic definition of the pigeonhole principle but it is used in very very different ways uh, so let's see an example in which it is elegantly uh, you know applied so the example goes like this we have to choose seven integers from one to ten so choose seven integers from the first ten positive integers and we have to say we have to prove that at least two pairs must yield the sum of 11 okay so what we have to say prove is we have to prove that two pairs at least if we choose seven numbers from 1 to 10 two pairs out of them should yield the sum of 11 okay how does pigeon hole principle come into play here now say we have to choose from numbers from 1 to 10 and we have to yield the sum of 11 okay so what we do we find the pairs for which the sum of 11 is achieved so 1 and 10 2 and 9 3 and 8 4 and 7 and 5 and 6 so these are the pairs out of 1 and 10 for which we have the sum of 11 okay now we have to choose how many objects we have to choose how many numbers which are actually objects here how many numbers we have to choose we have to choose seven numbers. we have seven objects and five boxes so these are consider them as boxes so this box a box 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 and box okay so but the pigeonhole principle says says what at least one should have seven over five ceiling which is equal to two objects which are numbers okay. now we say we have to have at least one of them right so but the problem is whether at least one suffice here or not it turns out that it does not suffice because if we choose one from each pair one from for example this pair this pair this pair and this pair and two from this pair then we have six numbers but we have to choose seven numbers right so then what we do is we use the pigeonhole principle again so now we have assumed that we have chosen uh, a pair from a one box then we have to choose five numbers or five objects from four boxes okay i'll repeat it we have chosen one pair already 
from seven objects so therefore we have five objects left now we have chosen one box already we have taken care of it so we have only four boxes left so then the pigeonhole principle again says that one of those two one of those four excuse me one of those four should have five over four which is again two objects so this means that just choosing one pair is not enough so we have to choose maybe one more pair maybe this one doesn't matter which one you choose so then you can say that okay we can have this one this one and one from each of these three in that case we will have two pairs for which we have the sum of 11 okay so this means we can conclude that therefore we should have at least two pairs with the sum of 11 okay so this is a small example about uh, the usage of the pigeonhole principle uh, this is used widely and many mathematicians you know they have they have found this to be their favorite uh, favorite principle to use thanks for watching and hope you like the video